Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 243. And today is our lesson number 137. Let's take a look at it. Problem number 3 is what we're going to solve. Problem number 3. Problem number 3 talks about evaluating algebraic expressions. Evaluating algebraic expressions. Now listen, for those of you who are not very good in algebra and would like to improve your, uh, your skill, algebraic skill, Here's a schedule of the algebra course that is on the YouTube of my algebra videos. There are altogether 200 videos. I'm going to give you a quick uh, overview of the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the course here. Evaluating algebraic expression is exactly what I did in the first 20 days of the course. And if you want to get more practice, these are the videos to watch. Then we learn how to add and subtract algebraic expression. Then we learn how to multiply algebraic expression. Then how to divide algebraic expressions. And then I spent about 15 days doing some linear equations. And finally, there are 100 videos which will help you learn how to solve word problems. If you're interested, they're there. Let's take a look at the very first one. Evaluate algebraic expression is what the question is saying. The first one is this. We are told, we are told that f of x equals 3x squared minus 7x plus 23. And we are asked to find the value of this expression. We are asked to find the value of this expression when x equals negative 2. And this is how we write it. When x equals negative 2, x equals negative 2. So we go through our expression. x equals negative 2. We go through this expression. And wherever we see x, we're going to replace it with negative 2. And just evaluate the expression. That's all. Very simple. So equals 3 times x squared, which is same as negative 2 squared minus 7 times x, which is same as 7 times negative 2, plus 23. Two, negative 2 squared, negative 2 squared is 4, negative 2 squared is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, so here we get 12, and here we have negative, and here we have negative, negative times negative is positive, 7, seven times 2 is 14, and then finally we have 23. Let's see what it adds up to. Let's see what it adds up to. 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 2 is 9, and we got 20, 30, 40. That's it. 49 is the answer. That's it. Let's do the next one. B. So that's what it should look like. Your work should look like this. It should keep it clean. Keep it organized. The next, next function, they, they're giving it a different name, they're calling it h. It's a new function, so new name, obviously. We can't go around calling all the functions by the same name. It causes confusion. Each function should have its unique name in a given, given set, uh, setting. Of course, tomorrow, of course, you, uh, if you use a different function, you can call it f again, because it's used in a different context. But here, I'm doing one after the other. They should all have unique names. x cubed minus 2x squared plus x minus 2. And the question simply is, what's the value of this expression when x equals 2? So, we go to this ex expression and we, we replace x with 2. That's what it is. So, x cubed is same as 2 cubed. 2 times x squared is same as 2 squared plus 2 and a minus 2. Well, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. 2, two squared 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, which is what this is, 2 cubed is 8, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, and 2 squared is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, this is also 8, they cancel each other out. And here I see a positive 2 and a negative 2, they cancel each other out, so the answer is a big fat 0, a big fat one, a big fat 0 is the answer here. That's it. Let's do the next one. Not the regular one, but a big fat one. C. What's the value of the function which they're calling k? This this function, the name of this function is k, and it is 5 third x minus 7. 
and we are, we are to we are to evaluate this expression when x equals zero. Oh, well, this is very simple. When x equals zero, replace five third, replace x with zero minus seven. Zero times any number is zero. Zero times any number is zero. So it's just negative seven. That's all. That's it. The answer is negative seven. That's it. We're done. That was the end of that problem. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye now.